Hey, this is Rosie, and this is this month's rent. You know what? We've got a building code, and we've got clauses from A1 through to H1. You should know that if you've done my training. But I had a customer tell me that I've missed one. After all these years, I've missed one? Hell, hmm, which one is it? He told me it was the FU clause. I beg your pardon, sir? Yes, he said, the FU clause. Now, this is what's happening out here in the field, people. You know, we're trying our best to meet the building code, which has things like, there'll be adequate time to evacuate the building. How long is that? There'll be satisfactory... What? How do you measure that? Who knows? And he thought it was called the FU clause, which is getting forked around by everybody trying to meet the code when they're actually quoting standards that are over here, acceptable solutions over here. Did you know this? There are 200 odd standards quoted in the acceptable solutions. There are 40 odd acceptable solutions. There are verification methods on top of that, and you can do whatever the hell you like as an alternative solution, as long as it meets the New Zealand building code. Uh, yeah, whatever. That's what he thought was the FU clause. Now, I don't know about you, but the building code was supposed to be reviewed a long time ago, and mm, nothing much has been produced. Lots of staff, people in meetings, all very important, secret squirrel meetings, consultations, one after the other. Over it, things need changing, don't you agree? Otherwise, we're all being FU'd in terms of the building code, and I say, don't let the fork be with you. See you next time.